anyone recognise where I am? Come on, you're That's right, I am at Squire's Bar. But me and the scooter crew are leaving. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty awesome place, really. I don't know why they're waiting. Hello. Yeah, so me, Father Puds, and Uncle Puds are out again on a bit of a trip out. Whoa, it's fucking Batman! <laughs> Jesus, that's A. We're out, we're going to the seaside. We're going to Scarborough. But, on his travels, we just thought, Okay, let's let's go. Let's go to uh let's go to Squires. Let's have a massive mug of tea. If you've been to Squires before, holy shit, the cups of tea are enormous. <laughs> we did get a large to be fair, and I had a little pink pink jammy donut, lovely. But now we're on to the uh the sexier roads. I mean we have got scooters in front of us, so we might find us opportunity and burn a couple of scooty babies. But me and Uncle Puzz are just catching up back up to the father but yeah fingers crossed we're going to get some decent roads we're going to be able to have a nice trip out and get to the seaside certainly feels like summer's back now that um we're going out to squires and stuff again that's awesome oh i'm so stupid i forgot to f***ing tie my helmet again why do i always do this <laughs> I see them going mental. I have got the card on and so have my dad and my uncle. I'm not sure, does anyone film with card or how do I pick up everyone's, how do I pick up everyone's audio as well as my audio? I don't know how to do it. I don't know if I'm going to need to use the media mod, the GoPro media mod, and then ask those and then I can record the uh, the stuff on my phone. I'm not sure. Not sure what my what my best course of action is. Right, okay, I'm gonna try and do a glove fasten here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I should have done it earlier, but <laughs> Yeah. Alright. He's not talking to me. I need to fasten my helmet. I'll go around and pull in. I'm gonna pull in very briefly here. Right, come on now, Adam. Don't be a little bum hole. Speed is the key. Oh, hello. This is not very speedy, Adam. That wasn't the worst. That wasn't the worst. Right, thank you, Uncle Puds. Woo! Right, now to find my dad. Oh, nice open limit. Yeah, so summer riding's back, guys. Someone mentioned in the video I've just posted, I'm back in time for summer. Yeah, so the plan is, me and the geezers are heading up towards Tadcaster through onto the sort of the north side of the A64 with a little bit of a stint on the A64 and then we're going to try and head towards Bridlington and then get on a coast road maybe Go around this guy Because we didn't overtake those scooters, I want him now I want him I'm on a mission! He's even overtaking cars on a scooter so I, uh, I'm gonna have to go for him. I'm chasing you down, boy. Come here, come here. <laughs> I mean, I'm hoping we're in the right direction to catch my dad. I'm not on the car though at the minute, so I actually don't know if I'm going right way. I'm, I'm sure Uncle Puds would have been sorting me out though if I were on the wrong road. Here we are. I've found you now. Come on. Who knows, could have perhaps gone for another, but there's a wagon up ahead and he's, uh, he's making me feel a bit nervous. Oh, I think I've just seen him. I think I've just seen the white top box that he's father puddling. Oh, easy work, easy work. Yes, we found him, there he is. Can you see him? Can you see him? But yeah, hopefully I've got a test ride coming up in the next couple of days and on a KTM. I'm not going to tell you which one, but exciting stuff coming to the channel. I've got a test ride coming up on the 11th of May, hopefully on a Kawasaki. I will tell you that that one's going to be a Kawasaki ZX6R, a new 2024 one, which is pretty mega. So I'll try if I can, you know, make sure that happens I'll try and get a little bit of content
there we go. Hiya! Right, A64, here we go. This is gonna uh, bring us all the way around, I think. Sweet. Chilling a few miles on A64, and uh, I will get back to you once we are on a little bit nicer roads. But check this shit out. The G Goat, greatest granddad of all time, yeah. She'll be so old that she'll be like a gilf with a stutter because there's that many G's. Uh, oh, you might be able to if she's slow enough. You know what, is that a yes or no? So she's a mimilf, a maybe milf. Not enough of one to have a personalised red. So we are now very much on, well, it's sort of a coastal road that we're on. We've got views for miles, man and it's awesome. So the coast is just off the right of us. We've just come through Bridlington and now we're on the, it does say scenic road to Scarborough, which is, it's not lying. Uh, we've got a trailer up ahead, so we've got a little bit of queue of traffic. Once we get a few opportunities, I think dad will probably start, start burning them, baby. Unless he's just out for a bit of a chilled ride, then that's also fine. But we've just entered the borough of Scarborough. Oh. Yeah, we did just pass through Wet Wang, and I mean, that's, that's a... Uh... Oh, he's going for it. Can get a couple later, Dad. At least a couple. I'm going to go for it. It's a close pass, but I'm on. I should have just grown a pair of balls and gone for all of them, then. Just need a long, straight road where we can just absolutely burn these bitches. Just one at a time, innit? Just pop, 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 pop. There's a bit of a hill just round corner, so I'm hoping once we go around here, it clears up a bit and we can see if we can uh, give it some beans. And if I mess up, they're on the scene. <laughs> ah, no, you see, we've got cars going the other way. What's going on? Sacre bleu, mon ami. Oh, look at this geezer at middle of roundabout. <laughs> We haven't lost a single car in that lot. I think everyone's going to Scarborough. It's the sea! <laughs> I can see it! You guys definitely can't see it just yet, but... Oh yeah, it's definitely starting to feel a little bit more coastal. We're getting some, like, more dune type things and... I think this is a pretty classic biker thing to do, innit? Get on your bike on a bank holiday weekend and go to the seaside and have fish and chips. <laughs> I think it's uh, it's probably a pretty cliche thing to do, but you can't really go wrong with it, can you? It's I mean, it's not a, not the worst thing, the worst habit to be in. Oh, here we go. Look at this. We've got bloody convoy of brethren's here. What's up, guys? Oh, brethren's. Oh. As long as this cheeky rain cloud stays away, I think we've, we're have we on for a winner here because it's not too cold. It's pretty nice. <gasps> Cooper's hand wash and Daisy Dot flowers. Oh my God. Can you believe that? My little boy's called Cooper and my cat's called Daisy. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my God, that's amazing. Well spotted, Dad. <laughs> oh, that's a mess. Jesus. He did not look like he was having the best day, if I'm honest. I probably will avoid asking how his bank holiday weekend went because he'll probably respond by going Yeah, you know, because he's dead unfortunately <laughs> What do you call a dinosaur if he was a sports bike rider doing a lot of miles in one day? Megasaur ass. These cars, if I'm honest, are ruining this You're ruining it! It's just busy, isn't it? It's like there's a decent amount of people on a bank holiday weekend, you're not going to get the quiet, a road quiet between two bumming seaside towns, are you? Because the British public always goes, Ah, bank holiday! We have to go where everyone goes! I'm not... How can I say that? I'm literally doing that. <laughs> it is annoying though, isn't it? It's like Ikea! I know that's so t t 
totally out there. But it's like IKEA. Why does everyone go? I oh god. I think I have a hatred for IKEA. Like, if you ever go to IKEA on a Saturday, you you know what stress is. You just know what stress is. Nothing will ever ever be worse stressful stress-wise than IKEA on a Saturday. Nothing. Oh nice, I think I can see Scarborough Castle now, so we're definitely close. Scabby Scarborough! The last time I came to Scarborough was the Grand Hotel trip. Go back and watch that video if you want, but jeez. <laughs> it's it's my most vloggy video. Not motor vloggy. It's my most vloggy. I mean, it is still majority motor vlog, but you can actually see my face and my baby and my wife and actually just doing things in the car and that sounds a bit <laughs> messy, doesn't it? Me and my wife doing things in the car. There's not much space on a bike, I suppose. Wee! Sorry, Tegan. Uh, my ass. Why is my ass hurting so much on this ride? Oh, what a legend. Cheers. Yeah, go on, put the needle. There's a Z900, that was actually really nice. I'm thinking guys, my next bike's gonna be a naked bike. There's just something about them, I don't know, I like, oh, maybe it'll, maybe something like an MT-09 or a Z1000 or something like that. I'm just so naked. I just love naked. I love all things naked. Bikes, I mean, of course. I think it's my, I think it's my thang. I think I'm a naked guy. Maybe a, who knows, a Super Duke? What do we... <laughs> I don't think it'll be an MT-10 at any point because I'm not fully sold on the looks of the MT-10. I mean, the newer ones aren't as bad because they've softened those sort of robotic eyes a little bit. But I still just don't think it's my thing, you know? What would you, what would you guys say if I was going to go for like a naked bike? Probably a, between a 600 and a 1000 or... 600 up, we'll call it. No point capping it. What would you guys sort of recommend would be a pretty solid option? I don't think we can make answers like Ducati Street Fighters because that's definitely not going to happen. <laughs> I don't know what he said. <laughs> Maybe a street triple. That's what gonna, you're going to say, isn't it? Um, we're in Scarborough now. I'm hoping we're going to be going and parking all the way down on the front. Nice, a little Kawasaki. Ninja125 and a lovely bike parking spot so you know any pavement ever. <laughs> Sorry car drivers. Just get good. Just get good scrub. Get yourself a bike. As long as we don't go near that the Grand Hotel. I'm fine. The bloody Grand Hotel. I feel like it's close though. I can sense its presence. I can sense its scabby presence. <laughs> I can almost smell it. And I've got a snood on. Oh my god, it's there! If anyone's ever stayed at the Grand Hotel, I can tell you it's been a long time since it's been grand. There she is! The Grand Hotel! <laughs> up there, up on the hill. I mean, it's quite a grand positioning in terms of Scarborough, you know, like, at the coast, way high up like that. But in terms of a, a, a hotel being grand, it's just not that, is it? But yeah, anyway, look, we're in Scarborough, lovely, look at this! Excellent. Very busy for the bank holiday though. Does seem very busy. busy. We used to come to Scarborough a lot as kids because we had come to caravan. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? What's up, brother? I wonder what the clientele's like in Scarborough today. Have we got family or chavs? Family and wholesome or chav and moronic? I'm hoping we go up to the top end near the castle. The castle gateway thing on the corner. Because I think there's a chippy up there and decent fucking pavement space. So we could probably park the bikes there. Gabby! 
<laughs> Think that street sign looks like a wanger. <laughs> it's definitely a wanger. You'll never believe this, but my car has just gone low battery. <laughs> well, I charged my phone because I didn't overnight because I fell asleep dead early. I charged my camera because I didn't last time. And then I was like, oh shit, my car door. I was like, hopefully it'll be all right, but. Oh, there's a few, there's a few. Oh, cheers, mate. Oh, yes. Didn't know there were bike parking here. In we go. In we go, guys. Oh, look at that. Sexual. That do kind of gorgeous as well. Woo! <laughs> We're still rolling on that. Let's have a look if this has stayed on. Oh, even my GoPro's got a bug splat. Just here. Just here. Oh, that's way rounds that I've been having it, isn't it? You what? Ah, it's right. Nah, it's fine. Yeah. If we're only round corner. Just do it, yeah, I'm gonna say. Just, it's a deterrent anyway, isn't it, I suppose. Oh, I've got a little bug splat, look at that. Sorry. Still got me snood on. Ah! Get me snood off. Ah, <laughs> ah yes, look, they more, look more expensive than mine, so mine'll be all right. Mate, we've arrived. We're gonna get some fish and chips. Right, so we've just finished as, as chip and fish and chips, chips and fish. We're moving the bikes. Um, and we're gonna go check out Oliver's Mount. So, see you there, bitches. I can do it here. Oh, bit of off road. You've got to do it, haven't you? Road closures. Start doing. <laughs> it's like that, isn't it? 